Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your November 2022 general reading with myself Thomas Enak. You are watching Thomas's Tower readings. Please like, subscribe and share widely. Mm -hmm. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now before we get into your reading, here's a few things um, up front that are quite uh, important for the month of November. Number one, November is the 11th month. 11 is a master number, same double digit number. 11 is the highest of these numbers, which means the energy of November has an extra oomph to it. So November by default is a really, really good month to get stuff um, done and to speed stuff up that has felt and has been stale, right? So use that. And then secondly, I urge you to watch the... Um, November 2022 full moon reading that you find on this very channel because there's a bit of a dip um, when the full moon happens that will probably last for two or three days but it's important to know about it and I don't want to get into it here hence asking you to to um, to watch the full moon reading once you're done with this one so that were just the, the upfront stuff um, and now we're looking at your um, we're dividing the reading slightly into sections. It's easier to understand. Um, so we're looking at the overall energy for the month of November 22 for the sign of the Archer, Sagittarius, which is you. Um, so we're looking at the overall energy before we then look into your emotional core, which means we're looking at whether or not trauma can go, love is coming in, that sort of stuff. And then um, lastly, we look at opportunities. And opportunities, for the most part, will be about what sustains you financially. Okay, so let's have a look. Wow, <laughs> love it already. Okay, Sagittarians, you have the birds. Birds, plural, mean what, what you're being asked to do this month is to detach yourself, step back, see things from a higher point of view, Look for vintage points from where and which to assess your entire life. Now, these birds are called animal deities. And when I said that's awesome, that's because the first card that came out from my Spirit Animal Guide deck was the plural of animal deities, which means your spiritual relations and a lot of your ancestors are with you. This very month, which that, which which then denotes that when they all show up and they show up in force, this is a good month to literally oppose stuff that you carry with you that isn't for you any longer, and to, um, to um, endeavor to sort things. But at the same time, don't go in there with a, with a Galashnikov, right? Or an Uzi. I'm not really a, a weapons expert. <laughs> But the point is, don't go in there with weapons at all. <clears throat> the way to sort things is by detaching yourself so you find exactly what it is you need to say. And um, be at your energetically speaking highest because your guides are around you. right? And truth needs no defense either. So quite important here. Um, it's quite a powerful energy to have, Sagittarians. And um, so consider yourself lucky. Right? And uh, so that's the overall energy, and now we're looking into your emotional core to see what's happening here. The card fell out. The card fell out is the elephant. So the elephant, no surprise that your ancestors are here and that your spiritual relations are here because the elephant is not just the elephant in the room, but the elephant as a, as a message or messenger is about remembering everything. So when your ancestors show up, which they did in the animal deities depiction, November affords you, because you have the birds, to step back and then really, really allow yourself to release things. See what I'm getting here? It's quite interesting. Um, and, you know, so this is a general reading, so you, you take it as it resonates, but... What I am getting is, if at all possible, is to take three or four days off, preferably after the full moon, 
um, and really, really allow yourself to just sit so that all old pain, for want of a better word, can come to the fore and, and you can begin to release it properly. That's quite interesting. Um, so the more busy you are, the busier you are this month, um, the less you will be able to look at stuff that really needs to be looked at. And because you're so deep as a, as a being, um, you're quite a deep person, you will notice or will have noticed that releasing stuff oftentimes has to be planned. Right? So what that means is, you know, um, if you have a bit of a breakdown at work, you might, you might um, actually minimize it and, um, and just sort of, you know, brush it off because it's just the, 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 the wrong place to do it in um, rather than just letting it flow freely, you know, fuck the job, that kind of stuff. Uh, but that's what I'm getting is for you to take a few days off and therefore then allow yourself to just sit and, and probably have a good cry because tears are sacred medicine, right? And it's just interesting because all your, all your ancestors are, are, are around you. And you are responsible, for want of a better word, for your ancestors for seven generations. Now, generations can be differently long depending on where you look at. But on the whole, it's about 225 years. So whatever happened to your lot um, where they couldn't change situations maybe because of the time it will be to you up to you to change that pattern right so you go back 80 years ago if you were married you look a bit the wrong way i have you admitted <laughs> right if you dare to leave me your own parents wouldn't take you in and there would be no support from anybody the point is when it comes to females sounds a bit weird but understand that historically you had very little options and it's still unfortunately a very patriarchal society and women do still don't earn as much as blokes in different in different areas and i always say that in my work that the divine masculine is light years behind the divine feminine i always rejoice when um every every now and then a bloke shows up to my healing circles and we're finally opening up right um so the point I'm making is if you if you look at it just historically, a lot of people had to stay um, with a person uh, much longer than, than, than you would need to now. But if this is something that has happened to your ancestors a lot, then the universe will also send you these dominant pricks so that you say, no, I'm not having it. Right. So when it comes to, to undoing damage, that is also what being responsible for your ancestors is about. And it comes up here for Sagittarians this month somehow quite strongly. Okay? So, in any case, the elephant in the room should be allowed to leave, look at old stuff, but create a space for it. Okay? So, that's that. Now we're looking into your opportunities for the month of November 2022 for the sign of Sagittarians. And that's simply easy. You have the butterfly. I think that goes, that goes about this way. <laughs> so, a couple of things about the butterfly. You have heard the phrase probably uh, many one times, or oh, the butterfly means you're ready. And that is not untrue. You are ready, but you are more ready for looking at what it is you want to have changed. And so what I'm getting is, don't rush into things just because um, the conditions are better financially. Um, see it more from a long, long distance kind of view. So you kind of go like, you know, from, from here on in, I'm looking at my future. How would I like to have things? So, for instance, if you're, if you're self-employed and you're looking to, to give treatments, right? Obviously, yes, you would need a room. Does it really make sense to, to, to book a room? Or does it make sense to kind of go, no, I want to have my own center and just um, manifest accordingly? So that seems to be quite an important thing for Sagittarius to, to put a bit of um, thought into this, which is also your over energy is the birds. So detaching yourself before you make any plans is really important. Now, Butterflies eat with their feet. And so the, um, the symbolism here is for you to be grounded. 
at all times. So when opportunities come to you and they knock on your, on your front door, don't jump and greet them and hug them. Always remove yourself a little bit and see it from the eyes of someone who can understand that the future is not written, has to be uh, uh, manifested. And anything to do with compromises has to be short-term compromises, right? So always look at the bigger picture, manifest the bigger picture. Say to the universe, that's what I really want um, to get there rather than saying, oh, if I could have a little room, right? Um, you know, speak up. It's really, really important. Right? You are Sagittarius, you are the archer. And because you are the archer, it is up to you to shoot the arrow with power. The, the, the more emphasis you put behind stuff, the, the, the quicker and the, and the more easily they can be achieved. Right? So, Sagittarians, that's all we got time for. Please, please, please watch the uh, November 22 full moon reading um, because it does obviously um, affect you too. And I see you all next month. Bye-bye.